Most of the times, when our equipment fails, there are usually underlying factors, okay, that causes the failure. Remember, we said during our reliability, uh, uh, trying to link reliability to the risk associated with the operation of our system. We said an event must happen and then the condition must be right for the failure to occur. Are we getting it? So those are the root causes. But often times you see that what we usually see they are the results of um, that failure. And most times some of the maintenance program they are deployed to taking care of those results. And that is one of the reasons why our maintenance program they are usually not effective and our reliability program they are usually not successful because we are not looking at the root cause of the problem okay so let's take for example now uh, uh, the there is an excessive vibration at the front end of an electric motor a pump okay that excessive vibration is due to something that is not vibration, okay? There's an underlying cause of that excessive vibration. Could it be that the bearing is not properly lubricated? You know, that can cause excessive vibration. Could it be that the shaft is not properly aligned? That can result to excessive vibration. Okay, could it be that the bearing is cocked? I will get it. Could it be that the shaft is bent? Okay, so those are the root causes of that excessive vibration. But the vibration is what we will see. Or let's take uh, a parameter like temperature, for example, too. We we'll discover that the equipment is heating excessively. Heat. Is the symptom or the product of some underlying uh, fault condition okay so these underlying fault condition if we do not take care of them of course the problem will always be there we just go take care of the the symptoms or the results of those underlying fault condition you see that the problem will be there okay so once that problem is still there that is the root cause is still there that problem will always come back again okay so that is why it is very important that we try to determine the root cause and take it out that we naturally take care of those symptoms so there's no need to focus on the symptoms we want to try to determine the root cause and focus on the root cause. So that is the essence of root cause analysis. Okay. So when do we know uh, what do we need to see that will tell us that it is time for us to carry out an analysis? root cause analysis ROCA on that particular failure mode okay so this is called the root cause analysis analysis trigger so that failure incident okay that failure incident which is the problem that we are seeing okay which is uh, the symptoms that we are seeing that failure incident are we getting it so the first question we we'll ask ourselves about that failure incident is it safety critical does it compromise the safety of our operations of the plant or of the asset okay first personnel the environment then the asset if it does if it is safety critical then we need to assemble an ROCM team, uh, ROCA team to start the ROCA analysis. 
Okay, so if it is not, we need to ask ourselves too, does it have the potential of affecting the environment or has it affected the environment? If it's a no, if it's a yes, of course, we assemble a maintenance, uh, an RCA team. Okay, the if it's a no, we now look at the cost of that failure. If it is the cost of the failure is very, very high, more than what we can tolerate, okay, more than what we can tolerate, then we need to assemble an ROCA team. If the cost is not too high, it's low, then we need to, that is cost to production, cost to our revenue, yeah, production output. If it is low, then we need to ask the maintenance cost. Is it high? Is it more than usual? If it is high, then we need to as assemble a, an ROCA team, okay? If the cost is not high that much, then we need to look at how does it affect the output? How does it affect our integrity in the eyes of our client? Okay, if it does affect it, then we need to as assemble an ROCA team, okay? So that they will conduct that ROCA analysis. If not, we ask ourselves the next question, the frequency of failure. Remember, risk is a consequence times the number of uh, times that, uh, uh, times the number of times that uh, that failure will occur or that event will occur. So the more the failure, the more frequent the failure, the higher the risk. So if the frequency is high, of course, we need to absorb, uh, assemble a, an ROCA team, okay? If it is no, there is no need for ROCA. So what this tells us is that it is not all failure mode that we, we conduct root cause analysis on. Only those failure modes that warrant us conducting that order will affect our operations, okay? That will affect the safe operations of our plant. That will affect the, our revenue. That will affect the environment. That will affect or increase the maintenance cost. Reduce revenue, increase maintenance cost. Or that has become a nuisance. Or that will affect the perception uh, 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 the perception of our facility of our company in the eyes of our customers. Of course, we need to do what carry out an ROCA, uh, assemble an ROCA team to carry out root cause analysis. So once you have assembled the team, the next step is to conduct the analysis. Okay, so you can use any of the ROCA process. Okay, you can use the 5Y analysis until you zero in on the most probable cause of uh, the problem. Okay, then once you are able to zero in on the cause, of course, things that you need to do to take care of the cause of those problems will be recommended by the ROCA team. And this is one area that uh, always cause the failure of most of our reliability programs because most of the solutions that are recommended by the ROCA teams at times they were never or they are never implemented okay so you want to implement those solutions and of course your facility will be better for it then of course as you are deploying those solutions you need to monitor the results and measure and if there are the areas for improvement, of course, you need to improve on that uh, the recommended solutions, okay, or on your process to improve the reliability of your process.